Hello, welcome back to another Bob's Burgers reaction. We're on season one. We're on season four, episode sixteen. Get psychic out. I get psychic out of you. Okay. I don't know. My best guess for this episode is that it's like a psychic, like scam episode. Like you know those fucking people that claim to be psychics, but then you know. They're definitely fucking not. Which is probably like 99% of them. I don't know, maybe there's the fucking off one chance that these people actually do, but I'm very skeptical is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know, maybe like Linda gets scammed into thinking that someone's actually psychic. Because I'm not going to lie, she seems like the type of person that would believe that someone is actually psychic. So, I don't know, let's just get into it. Oh. <laughs> The TV is broken right. or something. Linda, please use the ladder. At least let me do it. I'm fine, Bob. <coughs> Just gotta find the sweet spot. You're... Okay, I feel like he's in a new fucking TV. Or instead of your legs, all right? <sighs> oh, they didn't mind it work. That is a fucking old-looking TV, though. Yeah, and she fell. You okay? I'm fine, Bob. I just slept. Ow, oh my it. God, oh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, that looked like it hurt. Yes, it did. <laughs> uh oh, my wallet is missing. Better start washing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I hope I didn't lose it. I hate to have my identity stolen. I'm sure they'd give it right back. Maybe check the bathroom. It's worth a try. I mean, now I guess so. Sit in a stool and get the more experience. Why? Yeah, it's just sitting in the stool. You could do that any other time. In the toilet. Oh, oh good. why was it behind also, the there toilet? Was a rubber band, a marble, and a toothbrush. Those are mine. Okay, ew. Why are they in there? Bob's Burgers. No, I don't have anything to refinance. I wish <laughs> I did. Unfortunately, my only equity. Oh my god, is Linda gonna think that she's psychic now because she's just getting these very obvious things right? Linda was right about who was calling and where Mort's wallet was. I mean, they're very just wrong. obvious guesses, so to be one, fair. Mom. Okay. The next person to walk in will be tall, dark, and handsome. I, uh, <coughs> I'm already here. <laughs> Good one, Papa. Thank you, son. You're welcome. I've heard of this before. Someone gets hit on their head or gets struck by lightning and it unleashes psychic- Sure. I've heard this trope in movies. It's so fucking overused, though. Like, no, you're not gonna get psychic powers from fucking hitting your head. Uh, you guys are kind of reaching here. Yes. You know, I've always believed in this sort of thing. I mean, I'm not that surprised. Uh, four. No, nine. No, 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 four. No, no, nine. Is she right? I don't know. Now that's all I can think of. That was it. No, that was it. Tina, was it. what that number were you was. thinking of first? Uh, four or nine. No! Oh my I god. I see it, it burning in my brain. That doesn't prove anything. <laughs> so it really do doesn't, you though. predict things, Mom? How do you... She just takes a guess and then somehow gets it right. Let's settle this once and for all. Dad, you give her a test. <laughs> okay. If you're psychic, you should be able to tell me what I'm putting in this bowl. Close your eyes. <laughs> You really don't, <laughs> don't have to make that sound. sound. Yes, no. I do. No, you don't. <laughs> it's gonna be give me something. Your hands, Bobby. <laughs> no. Come on, give me your hands. Fine. I gotta feel this it. Would, go okay. Ahead. If she gets this right, I'd be very surprised. It's an oh. orange. Oh, shit. No, 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 no amazing. <laughs> it's an orange. No, it's, it's just a very obvious no, guess. She's not. Yes, I am. Okay. I mean, you'll get good money for this, considering how much these fucking psychics charge. Yes, how was school? Boring. Meh. Fine. I mean, whatever. Ooh, sure. What's going on here? Oh, your mother has gone nuts. <laughs> yes. Very <laughs> psychic <laughs> readings. Like, fucking, if you're gonna, like, pretend to be or think that you're psychic, you can charge shaped. people. Yeah. Like, a hundred dollars. Like, honestly, as fucked up as it is, like, people get a lot of money for it. ex-boyfriend lives in Philadelphia. Should I go there? Should I get a cheesesteak? Gretchen! Go to him. I'm gonna sure. do it. I'm gonna That's do it. That's probably a terrible idea. Wait till Philly sees my crack. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi. Hi. Stay away from trains. I'm gonna get a train ticket. Gretchen, come back. No, no. Well, maybe trains are fine. Well, sure. that seemed to work out, man. Yeah, that was another yeah. good one. Just another sent one a down. woman, a grown woman. Yes, which is fucking insane. I believe in you, mother. Thank sure. you, Louise. Honestly, she just wants money. Gift. That's the only reason why she's agreed. If this was 1980, you'd be burned as a witch. Exactly. <laughs> but did she say 1980? I don't... Okay, guys. Mom picked a horse in tomorrow's race. Now all we need is money to place a bet. You guys Which, money? how are you going to get money? If you're asking me to sell my hair, the answer is no. Tina, well, okay. I don't think that's saying? quite what she was asking. $82.40. But with interest, it could be more than that. I haven't checked for a while. I want to be surprised when I look. Great. Okay. We'll put $82 Okay, then don't do that. That's just gonna lose the entire fucking money. Order up, Len. Can you take this over? Shh. Not now, Bobby. I'm getting something. Hold on. Oh my god. This is weird. I'm feeling something. No, you're not. Desert no. Dog, the beloved statue who's welcomed visitors to Wonder War for over 30 years, has been dognapped from his dog familiar napped. place at the end of the pier, leaving police baffled. Oh my god, is she gonna be like, go to the fucking police and be like, I'm a psychic, I can solve the case. 
That guy must be very confused. Seriously, Lynn. Hi, hello, Tipla. Hold on, hold on. I have a tip. Are they confused why Jerry Lewis is calling? I, you know, I see water. Lynn, stop. Hang up the phone. He's surrounded by water, and I also see. Do not do this. This is ridiculous. Stop. Bob, I'm on the phone, and he's crying out. Dizzy Dog's crying out. Sure, yes, the statue is definitely crying out. It was one thing when you were just playing with Mort and Teddy and Gretchen, but when you call it a tip to the news, it's kind of taking things to another level, Lynn. I mean, even tell. Oh, Gretchen to go to another state to meet up with an ex-boyfriend. It's That's fucking insane. That's what Coach insane. Levin said about me doing a sit-up, and now look. Mm. I yeah, mean, yeah, that goes well. Get mom's back. I mean, because like she's just insane in this situation. Wonder Wolf's own Dizzy Dog is home what the safe after fuck? apparently being knocked off the pier. Okay, that must have just been a massive fucking Dizzy coincidence. The discovery was made thanks to a tip from Linda Belcher. Wait, her name's not off. It was an anonymous wow. tip. They found them in the water. All right, mom. We always believed you, mom. Remember that. I got power. Sure. I mean, if you're gonna at least think you have powers, you get to fucking charge, man. Hello, Linda Belcher. Hey, Sergeant Bosco. Apparently, you're some kind of psychic. Yeah. Oh well, God, is she gonna be think so. pulled to make oh, actual fucking God. like well, you two really actual came proper with cases? That dizzy dog thing, anyway. I did. Oh my God. I need your help with another case, a real. Oh, case. oh God. This is the big time. Him? This is what does involve murder. Help me catch the little boy. Bandit. The what? <gasps> the little boy bandit. The fuck is the little nose? boy bandit? You gotta be kidding. Mom is a police psychic. <laughs> Narc. I gotta call it out. Is this like an actual thing that like people do, or is this? I've only ever seen this on TV. Like police psychics or whatever. I want your help? I need it. I'm desperate on this one. The yeah, I can tell. For a second, I honestly thought that they're gonna be like come in yeah, and tell so the dizzy dog thing. fucking if this doesn't work out, her that she's like under arrest or something because they suspect her from pushing and stealing no, that statue. Here are all the places the little boy bandit is hit. Mm. There seems to be no pattern, but maybe you'll get a uh, feeling or something. <sighs> he seems to go after the stores that have little flags on them. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nothing's coming to me. Yeah, right, just do whatever you did for the knife. Tick tock. I'm still figuring out how this works. I don't know when it comes. Yeah, to you, you just fucking randomly a picture comes to your head. Again. Okay. No. Oh my god. Okay. Hi kids. Hi Teddy. Hi Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Teddy guys. This question. Oh my god. Is, are they getting her him into fucking bed on the horses? Dresses, but I did find this penny in the urinal. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah, and it's gone. My pee penny. I mean, if it's, I hope you at least watched it. Mom sent us on a quest too. We're supposed to bet on a horse. Wow, uh, it's much better than fighting a nickel. And <laughs> we need our favorite Teddy to place the bet for us. Hey, maybe you'll see a lady in a yellow dress at the track. Mm -hmm. Or a horse in a yellow dress. Okay. At this point, I'd take either. <laughs> why? Why? Why the fuck at all? Need some more buns. And he's gonna fall down the basement stairs. So. At least we're scared too. Huh? Why don't we have a railing? Huh? <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? Obviously, this is just a massive fucking coincidence. I don't see how hitting your head would make you like be able to have psychic power. Look, if I don't catch this guy, my captain will tear me a new one. Now take a look in that brain of yours and tell me where he's gonna strike next. Okay, Alright, give me a minute. Psychics didn't predict Rome in a day. Hold on. Uh, oh, I <laughs> see a building. Good, yes, no shit. I see walls. Yeah. Oh, and uh, windows. Nah. Yes, like every other building. Tell mom and dad that I'll miss them. Okay. Sure. Oh crap, need tomatoes. Here we Just go. Just go down the stairs. If Wait you fall second. over, then you I fall know over. I do this. Mm. Oh my mm. fucking god, there's mm. no way. <laughs> I feel like that takes way more effort than just walking down. Like, I feel like you could still probably fall. You still feel good about this, Linda? I hope you do. Yeah, it's beautiful. Not <laughs> that crap. Yes, yeah, that's the fucking wrong. My whole right. career is on the line. I have a lot of cops undercover here. Okay, well, this is honestly your own fault for putting. Your, <laughs> wait, he can just play the violin. Telling him to quit the force and just play. Okay. La, 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 la. Right, get out of here. You're gonna blow our cover. Okay, okay. La, 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 la. <laughs> oh my god. Stop fucking. I'm back. Oh, good. Nothing you told anyone was remotely accurate. Yes. Are you really that surprised? You. What? It's true, Linda. I went to Philadelphia last night, and I find out my ex-boyfriend is married, and he's oh, faithful. Jesus. Thanks a lot. Well, yeah, I've been to be fit. with my accountant was because I'm being audited. Oh, I Jesus dry cleaned Christ. my Speedo, like you said, and now it looks ridiculous. Um, it looks the exact same. What are you talking about? I got all those other predictions right. 
Well, did I kind of just use common sense? <laughs> yes, I honestly, I probably. Saw wallet falling out. And telemarket is call around three o'clock every yes, day. Yes, I mean that's and common sense. I guess sense. your hands smell like oranges. Oh God, I Kaiser Sozade myself. So you're saying you are not? I'm not psychic. Yeah, I'll be obviously. Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> just me, I guess. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, every. Yeah, and now the police are fucking, you know. It Bagging on your prediction of being the correct. Okay, you go tell Bosco you're not psychic. I have to go pick up the kids from the track where you sent them. Ah, oh, nuts. <laughs> I mean, at least you didn't do that on purpose. Bosco! Bosco! What? What are you doing here? I got bad news. I guess, uh, I guess I'm not a psychic after all. A real psychic. Yeah, I mean... Amateur. What? Well, uh, yeah, I'm uh, sorry. Listen, I put everything up. Yeah, honestly, you can't just say sorry to this. Like, this is the fucking police. Get psychic and fast. I'm arresting somebody tonight. Okay. You can arrest. You. you. Yes. It was really yes. For what? Eating too many hot dogs? Impersonating a psychic. Uh. Imperson Wait, you can get arrested for that? That's a very odd thing to get arrested, though. Hi, Teddy. Come on, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, no. But our race is next. We already placed our bet. And Tina's getting an autograph from a horse. He's not great at holding a pen. Then can you... How old is that fucking guy? The whole... Is it jockey? Why does he look like he's around the same age as Tina? Oh, he dropped your wig. Uh, thanks. What's that for? I am a birthday clown. I got a thing after the sure. race. Oops, you dropped the your roller shoe. This? What's this for? It is for my clowning. I'm a okay. roller skate clown jockey guy. Why wow, is this guy acting this up? Oh my god. He's the little boy bandit. What did you say? Oh my hey, god. Nothing. Uh, have a great race. Ah, uh, thanks. W what? I said thanks. Did you thanks. say thanks? Oh, sorry. You go. Thank you. No problem. Honestly, the fact that they found out who it was. Honestly, the, that is a fucking massive ass coincidence, though. Bosco, good news. Bobby just caught that. <laughs> Imagine if it turns out this guy's not even actually the fucking Let's go like, down little boy bandit or whatever so they said. But also, why do I have a feeling that this guy's gonna be the one that's winning? And then he's gonna get arrested, so it's gonna like stop them from getting the money. Ah, he's actually gonna win! Yeah, honestly. Yeah, I'm fucking bored in there. Yes, that's honestly. They could have waited until after the race. You almost cost a man his job. But in a way, Mom helped Bosco catch the little boy bandit. I mean, no, I she guess did so. It. We saw yeah, him honestly, that was bomb, bomb. That was bomb. If thought she was psychic, we never would have gone to the track in the first place. Yeah, Dad? I mean, it's a weird fucking, like, butterfly effect or whatever, but still. Bob? Did he yeah. fall down the You're right. Yeah. Did you just fall? No, I did <laughs> not fall. Okay. I walked down the stairs. Walk sure. down the stairs really fast. And that fucking voice. Oh. <laughs> Gene? Yeah? Will you come down here for a sec? Sure, I'd love to. She is psychic. She is a witch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so I was actually somewhat correct in this episode, strictly for the fact that I knew that it had something to do with Linda. Because, again, I'm not that surprised that she's the one that believed that the psychic abilities or whatever actually existed. But, oh my god, she almost... I mean, she already, like... Cause all that, all that fucking shit for those people. But in all fairness, like they chose to believe her at, at the same time. Like it, some of it is on them, you know. Honestly, like going to a completely different state to, for your ex fucking boyfriend or whatever when he's married. Like I don't know how she didn't know Gretchen or whatever her name is. Didn't even know that, but sure. Oh, but I would have been pissed off as well if like I put I would like surely they should get that fucking eighty or whatever dollars back. Because technically the race didn't finish because there was cop like the cops stopped it. But oh my god, I didn't the fact that it went that far to the point where the police literally hired Linda to fucking find this like little boy bandit or whatever the fucking name was. Like the fact that it went that far is insane. Cause again, she just used common sense with like a lot of it. Like with the wallet, the telemarketer, and then like the oranges. I mean, I honestly thought with the oranges, she was just gonna guess that it was an orange because like I don't know, that's like the only, one of the only things it could have been. Also, I love the fact that Teddy just casually, like, just went there and didn't even ask questions about the whole, you know, betting on horse racing thing. Like, and the fact that it was all Tina's money as well made it so much worse. I would have been pissed off in all honesty. I mean, I don't really have anything else to say. That was a pretty decent episode, but, oh my god, I'm not, again, I'm not that surprised that Linda's the... One that thought she had fucking psychic powers or had anything to do with her in general. I thought for a second I thought that she was going to get scammed out of money. Because she went to a psychic or something. But I mean I was close enough. Anyway I mean I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.